Well guys, I am on my way to Fort Wayne, Indiana, where I actually used to live for a while. And uh, sorry for the shaky camera. It's because I have a trailer back there. You can see right there. Because we're gonna go pick up, hopefully we're gonna be picking up a truck. It's from somebody I have bought stuff from before, like wheels and tires, stuff like that. So he says the truck's super clean. Um, he's always been pretty straightforward with all the information he's given me, so I don't doubt it's clean. So we're gonna, we're gonna go check this thing out, grab my check right before we show up, and then I hope you guys like this thing. We're trying to do something that we haven't done in a little while, but it's still right up your alley in terms of pre-emissions, you guys like them, they're simple vehicles, um, but it's not quite as old as what we have done in the last six to eight months. So I'm gonna put the shaky camera down because it's gonna give you guys some kind of sickness I'm seeing this thing bounce up and down on this truck with an empty trailer but anyways guys I will catch you once we get this thing picked up there it is A couple days have passed and I'm gonna go over this truck with you briefly, show you a little bit about it, go over the details, but also keep in mind, right now for the first time ever, 50 times entries are live. Yes, 50X entries, not just for this truck, but also this truck, or if you wanna say for this truck and also this truck, okay? This is a dual entry overlapping period. I don't know how it gets confusing every single time we do it, but let me explain it just one more time it is the very last moments of this giveaway this giveaway right here this first gen ends august 4th that is the last day you will ever have any chance to enter to win this truck that is the last day period it is the last day for dual entry for this truck but it is not the last day for this truck this truck is a separate giveaway these are separate giveaways separate end dates separate drawing dates either two separate winners or since they are separate giveaways this is the only way this is possible they have to be separate giveaways with different end dates and start dates you could technically get drawn for both if you place orders between july 26th and august 4th those are the overlapping dates where this giveaway is starting and it overlaps with this one that is what creates the dual entry period so now that that is explained, it is as simple as I just put it out. They're overlapping only for those dates. And then once the overlap period is over, dual entry is over and this giveaway is over. However, since it is just the start of this giveaway, this one will carry on until it ends on September 8th. That is the last day for this truck, September 8th. But again, dual entry is only available for both of these trucks at the same time for every order placed, July 26th to August 4th. Good luck. So I'm not gonna do a full overview on this truck, but I am going to go over the basic information on this thing. And I'm gonna create a separate video that I can link to the website that goes over just this truck solely over all the details. This thing, gorgeous. I just got done washing them both. That's why they're both so shiny. And also got a chance to clean up the shop finally. So that's kind of nice. Um, but yeah, so this is a 1991 Ram W250. Dodge Ram W250, five-speed manual, four-wheel drive, 12-valve Cummins, comes with $5,000 in cash. So that's the brief overview on this truck. Other than an exhaust and an upgraded clutch, this truck is pretty much factory when it comes to power and drivetrain. So I had some guy comment, oh, nobody wants to win a boring stock first gen. Well, you know what? These trucks are for adults, not children, okay? So some people prefer to have things that are reliably built and reliably modified so they can maintain them for a very, very, very long time without having to worry about blowing transmissions, blowing up parts, having to replace crap prematurely. You know, there's a time and a place for that. And don't get me wrong, I love a truck that can throw down some rubber on the pavement, but I am okay with trucks that are very reliable and sound that don't have a bunch of craziness going on. So this truck, it's gorgeous and it's very simple. Love it. This truck is also very simple. It is basically the, I don't even know what, 15 year newer. This is a 2005 Dodge Ram 2500. So they're both technically three quarter ton trucks. This is a 5924 valve. It was the last year you had this style front end before it swapped over to the newer style front end with the big headlights and the upgrade, well, upgraded, just different interior. Um, so this is a fairly stock truck overall 
but it does have some mods. And the only mod I'm gonna give away, because it's a very important one that helps you understand the reliability of the truck, is it is an automatic truck with a Randy's transmission from out of Utah. This truck is a Utah truck, which is why when you look around this thing, there's freaking zero rust, no scaling, no nothing. It's a one owner truck out of Utah with an automatic that is built by Randy's transmission in Utah. It was built and serviced by them. So if you guys know anything about their transmissions, they're about the most reliable you can get. There are a few other companies that make a really good built automatic transmission for these trucks, but those guys are definitely in the top few that produce a very sound and reliable automatic transmission solution for these trucks that seem to last pretty much forever. So if you guys are interested in an automatic 5.9 Cummins with the four doors, that's very sound. I'm not gonna get into all the details, but it's not crazy built out with crazy compounds and all kinds of, like, no, it's not, it's not like that. There are details to go over, but all I'm gonna give you for now is it's got a Randy's transmission underneath the truck and it's very sound, very clean, super nice one owner truck and you will love it. This will make an incredible daily driver for somebody or if you want to park it, that's cool too, but it is, it is a super nice truck. So we're going to go over the details on the truck in terms of the truck itself. It's got that gray paint. Love the gray paint. It's the same actually as my wife's. Um, it's sitting on some bill stains, leveling kit. We just got the tires put on it as well, right when we picked the truck up. They are 35 by 12 and a half R17s, and these are 17 by nine. So if you guys are just wanting a brief look there at the wheel and tire setup on the truck, that is what you're looking at here. And we just wanted it to stand out about like how the first gen did on 10 wides. The third gen, um, they have a little bit different um, axle sizes and stuff like that, and they just, they just poke out a little bit more with less offset. That's just the way that these trucks are and looks really good we wanted it to match up with this truck for the dual entry because we thought it would be super cool to have a truck on very similar wheels and tires very similar paint very similar everything so this is actually oem this is an oem paint job um like i said it is a one owner truck from utah so uh the interior on this thing when it comes to being a one owner it is super clean the windows were just tinted that's why it says do not roll your windows down it's got the power seat options power lumbar uh, positive cable it is disconnected up for where it runs but that is because there is wiring for an amp system in the back um 133,000 original miles on the truck no dash cracks no wear and tear on the steering wheel everything looks perfect um very clean interior not even a rip or crease in the seat it is a four-wheel drive truck of course it does have an upgraded double den head unit in there sound system in this thing it actually sounds really good um, all power locks, power windows, headliners in perfect shape. There's no rips, no stains, no tears. Um, it does have Bluetooth calling and stuff like that. It also has a Viper system in the truck. And so you have, um, you have your key fob and you've got your lock unlock and you've actually got remote start. You've got all that on this, which is obviously um, not a factory option in 05. You could not get a remote start truck, um, but this one has it. So... Floor mats, everything in the interior, super clean. If you're wondering why I'm doing this inside of the shop right now, where uh, the lighting is not as ideal, it is because I was in the middle of washing these trucks and started to pour rain. And so I had to back these in here to dry them off. And I just didn't want them to get totally covered and stuff because we have to clean them up a little bit more here. Uh, the truck is rocking a five inch exhaust to a six inch tip. Let me show you the back side of this truck too back seat the back seat not the back side now there's the back seat of the truck very clean no stains no rips no tears nothing same with the doors everything is super clean you can look at the door jams look at the rockers i think it's just it's just so clean um so you that driver's door too you now you guys want to see you guys like to see those nice clean door jams and nice clean rocker panels um very very clean truck um, the truck does have a fifth wheel prep package. So if you want a fifth wheel, there you go. It's got the back sliding glass. Some people like that. Some people hate that. Super clean under the truck as well. Again, it is a Utah truck, so there's no rust and rot. Um, 
Just a very, very clean truck. Very clean truck. Now I am, I'm not gonna totally, totally leave you in the dark here. I'm gonna start this thing up um, just so you can hear it. Because why not? Why not? You're here, you're on the video. If you wanna hear this thing start, I'm sure. I'm sure that's half of the, half the excitement with watching a video like this about a truck is you wanna hear the thing start. Conditioning and everything in this thing works freaking awesome too, by the way. For whatever reason, when you turn your lights all the way to the off position, if you wait, it'll pop up on the dash. It'll say lamp out. But it waits until you turn it off, but then you'll see it. Like, it'll say lamp out. For whatever reason, it says lamp out um, when you turn off the headlights, even though, as you just saw, both the lamps. Headlights are not out, um, not even the taillights, nothing. There's no lights out on the truck, but for whatever reason, it says that. Uh, other than that, though, super clean, one owner, 5.9 Cummins, low miles, no rust, no rot. Um, does have some upgrades, but they're all just like more like um, preventative upgrades and keep it safe and sound, keep it reliable. It's those types of upgrades, the upgrades that I'm the biggest fan of. Um, I know there's guys out there that just love just throwing crazy power at a truck. And as cool as that is, sometimes you're really just sacrificing the reliability of the truck when you put too much at it. When it's got too much, it's just got too much. And um, these trucks can handle a lot, but in the same sense, sometimes it's nice just to not push them to the limits and just enjoy a nice running, comfortable, daily drivable truck, which is what you have here and here if you want. Now, feel free to comment down below what videos you would like to see on these two trucks. I do have a few in the works that I'm already going to be putting together. For example, in the next video will be a full overview of this truck. It's going to be pulled out with really good lighting around it. I'm going to go over everything in terms of the exact transmission and upgrades it has, um, any kind of modifications that could enhance power performance. I'm going to go a full over in-depth overview of the whole truck, underneath, interior, everything, wheel and tire size offset specs, exhaust. I mean, every little detail that I know of on this truck, I wanna go over all the details. In this truck, another thing, it's got like 40 or 50 service records on Carfax. This thing has tons of maintenance records. So it was, it was maintained, kept nice, and there's a whole paper trail to follow this truck right here. This truck was back before a lot of that stuff was really honest, the track and computers and systems and stuff. Um, but this truck here has a long list of records. So just kind of a nice peace of mind type thing. Um, so anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Like I said, there's going to be another video coming on probably tomorrow or the day after, very shortly after you see this one. That's a full overview on this truck here right behind me, going over all the details and what's done to it, like I previously just mentioned. And but other than that, that is it. That's a that's the glimpse for this one. I'm sure you guys are gonna see the videos popping up on Facebook and Instagram and all that stuff, you know, advertising the trucks together. And guys, this is this is this is an awesome opportunity for somebody. Because somebody could either win one or the other or both, and you're getting 50 times entries, which we've never offered before. So this is the first time for that ever happening. And the dual entry time window is not that long. You guys have like it's like nine days and the dual entry is over. So Want to get in during the best promotion of the entire giveaway? It is nine days, and that's that's it. So get in while you can, guys. Thanks so much for all the love and all the support. I hope to bring you guys more content here very soon on both of these trucks, and especially this one. Try to get back into the loop of YouTube just a little bit more. Try to keep you guys updated on the trucks and what's going on with them. 
and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.